Welcome to a world where speed is everything. Superfast internet is now at your fingertips. Connect and watch all your favorite movies and series with unlimited YouTube and Netflix. Connect to the world of gaming with uninterrupted connectivity. Share the moment and connect with loved ones on Zamta Superfast LTE internet from as low as 650 quarter per month. Damn. Star 117 hash or visit your nearest retail outlet countrywide. Terms and conditions apply. Zamtel, your digital lifestyle partner. That Z Podcast. Z Podcast. Christopher Katango. We start pronouncing Katango. Just ka- should I call you Chris or Christopher on this one? It's, it's up to you how you want to pronounce because yeah, you can even really change. <laughs> I think I'll just, for, for the sake of this interview, I'll call you Chris. And uh, we have a legend today. We have a legend. Is, the name is so big, I'm feeling so nervous right now. But hey, it's Chris. We've worked together before. And uh, you know the things I do for my country. That Z Podcast. Z Podcast. Zambian conversations worth having. We talk to Zambian movers and shakers, the change makers, the achievers. We also discuss interesting topics. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, That Z Podcast. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Listen to That Z Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Anchor. That Z Podcast. Zambian conversations. Worth having, hosted by K, K-, K- Plus. It's K Plus, baby. <laughs> Today on ZZ Podcast, we have a legend. I am in the presence of greatness right now, and I feel all sorts of power being in the presence of this man. He's a soldier, or retired soldier, like he likes to emphasize. He's a soccer player, retired as well. Sometimes, he is a coach. Uh, are you a referee now? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'll ask that question properly later on. But please put your hands together for a legend, a father, a brother, son of the soil, Christopher Katongo. Pa, 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 pa. I actually even brought my drum today just to make sure we make some good noise. Right? <laughs> oh, El- Elson is running late. Elson is doing that Zambian thing of running late. So we've started without him, but he has sent his apologies. And uh, we'll be starting with him a little later. Chris, can I call you Chris on this interview? Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, I'm Chris in a short way, but I'm um, Christopher. But can, can I call you Chris for yes, the purpose yes, of this yes, interview? For sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, Be- before I start getting comments, I've asked for permission. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> 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 I tell you. Thank you very much for, for having me. Speaking of Ukulambola, Chris, please be, be honest for the first time in your life over this issue. How old are you? I'm 41. Ah, no. I'm going to have 42 <laughs> in August. You are 41? Yes, 40, 41, 42. You are playing football. Oof. Then you are... Uh, wait, I, I think the question should be two tier. Okay. Uh, you are 41. Are these real years or yes. football years? Yes. Because Mubola, you like, it, you like maybe, engineering. Maybe, yeah, maybe just... I'll try and ask maybe my parents because uh, <laughs> I know it's been, you know, <laughs> mingling around the rumors and stuff like that. Your players, they reduce the years. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember when I reduced the years. Yeah. Uh, what I know is I was born in 82. Okay. So, which means I'm going to have 42 in August. Yeah. So maybe I'll try to find out from my dad's perspective, but I don't know. I, I never, I never attempted to change my years, whatever. Yeah. If people they follow me, like him, my education background, yeah. they, they'll find everything intact, the same thing. So I don't know. If, <laughs> yes, because I've entered into you know people of cheating the years and whatever. Yeah. But uh, there's nothing of me of cheating. Maybe my dad will say something on that one. But I will have 42 in August. That's Sp- what I know. Speak- speaking of your dad and your mom and family, what was it like growing up, Christopher Katongo? I, I know you grew up in Mufulira, but what was life like then? Okay, first yeah. of all, um, I was born in Mufulira, uh, Butondo Township. Yeah. Uh, my dad uh, my dad was a minor. My mom, uh, she was a housewife. Um, and then uh, growing up, you know, playing chimpomba, there is that plastic ball that we make. Yeah. Uh, you know, football was my life. Football is my passion. Uh, but my dad didn't want me to play football, just to say a little bit background, like you say. Yeah. Um, my dad refused me to, to play football. He wanted to have uh, education, good education, you know. But yeah. he, I didn't have also time to go to university because I love football. But I finished my grade 12. 
at Kalurushi uh, Secondary School. You know, as I started my primary school at Utondo Primary School, I went to Chakwa, Chankwa Secondary School in grade 8 and 9. I went to Kantashi Secondary School in grade 10. And then I was transferred to Utondo Secondary School because of football. And then I was being taken by Kalurushi Modern Stars where they, they were sponsoring me everything, uh, you know. Uh, Wait, player with wh- while you were in high school? Yes. I was, in grade 11 and you're being sponsored? Yes, I had my Yo. time even to, to play with Gibi Masela. Yeah. You know, and I was being taken care of everything. My dad was not even paying for the school fees. And wow. whatever uniform, it was Kalurushi was doing that. And imagine I was in grade 11. So I don't know which player he was playing when he was in grade, grade 11. Playing, and, and you're being yeah. sponsored by the club, yeah? Yes. Uh, that's when I finished my grade 12 in, in Kalurushi. That is 2000. I finished my yeah. grade 12. And then I went to uh, Green Buffaloes, where I became a soldier. So, wait, that's yeah, you, my you, background. You, you, you mentioned a bit in your background that your dad wanted you to be something else apart from a soccer player. But what did you want to be when growing up? I wanted to be a soccer player. I want just to, that, that, that's all that, that that's your focus. Was in my mind. Yeah, yes, it was just in my mind that I want to be like Johnstone Wadi. I want to be like <laughs> Kalusha Wadi. Yeah. You know, I want to be recognized in football. And when these things was coming, because I knew it already, that this is what I wanted. And my dad didn't want me to play football yeah. until he was being convinced in my community that one day come and watch your son when he's playing. And the time I was playing, I scored two goals. I remember wow. my dad went to 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 buy uh, to buy boots for me. Uh, at yeah. that time in the mining area, there was like the Congole thing. You get it, and then they are cutting from your... <laughs> from your, your salary, salary yes. yes. So uh-huh. he got the boot for me and say, I knew that you love this soccer now. Go ahead. So this is like in grade what now? I was in grade D. When he bought you those boots? Grade D, six, seven, so something. Grade six? Yeah. Those so, are the time that, if you remember, 1993, uh, we lost yeah. the, the Gabonia disaster. Yes, yes, those yes. time I was yeah. on my primary level. I you know, I, I, I'm interested in your story so much because it sort of relates to my own story where I wanted to, be, I wanted to do this even when I was a kid. You see? I wanted to be on radio, I wanted to be DJing and, uh, you know, my parents had bigger aspirations for me. They wanted me to be a lawyer or an engineer or things like that. But then, are you, what kind of a, you know, coming from that background, I'm starting to wonder now, what kind of a parent are you going to be if your parents wanted you to be something and you became a soccer player, are you going to be able to... What kind of a parent are you going to be? I'm, I'm going to be open to my kids. Yeah. If they want to play football, play football. If they want to have education, have education. Yeah. But education is still is the key in everything. Because if you don't have a little bit of education, sometimes it's difficult for you, you know, when you have your future. You yeah. know. But looking at the world which is moving, yeah. when, when, when the world is moving, there is, a, you know... Uh, uh, even if you are never going to school, yeah. people, they can be successful. Yeah, true. You know, but, you know, speaking to the radio, being on the radio, being a, you know, a presenter, sometimes it doesn't need maybe education. It's yeah. just like, this is what you wanted. To talent, be, like you man, said. talent. So I'll be open to my, my, my kids. I say, hey, guys, okay, but have education a little bit yeah. because technology is moving. And then you can you can be whatever you want to be. If you want to be like your dad, hey, I will push Go you. and play soccer. Buy the boots in grade six. <laughs> in grade six, we were playing barefooted. There was no boots that time. You know, you play barefooted. You know, even if it's an actual boy you're playing, we were yeah. playing uh, barefooted. But uh, but uh, that's how it is. It's Wait, grade, grade six, w- where was this? In Mufleur still? Mutondo, Mutondo, Mutondo Primary School. Mutondo Primary School. Yeah, you must have shined when your dad bought you boots, eh? I... <laughs> I think I was uh, more of clever, you know, I was in grade 6, but I was playing in grade 7. I okay. was playing with those who are in grade 7. There was A team and B team, uh-huh. but I was playing in A team, but I was in grade 6. So, this is how good I was. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> but this <laughs> is what <laughs> happened. Yeah, you true. Know, you are in grade 7, you are playing in a Premier League. Uh, I'm not yet to see someone, Yeah. but I have... Uh, we, 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 we have some, you know, the, the evidence are there. They can go and find out whatever. Yeah. It was happening. I was in grade 11 and I was playing in the premiership. Wow. Kalush Modern Stars. That's impressive, man. Like, really impressive. And then I look at your life. You talk about growing in Motondo. What kind of a family setup did you grow up in? I mean, were, you mentioned your dad was in the mines. Your mom was a housewife. 
What kind of a home did you grow up I, in? How many brothers, sisters? <laughs> How was it? I want to okay. understand the environment yeah. of your okay, home. That's yeah. funny, but uh, yeah. I'm not sure, you know, to speak about my family. Yeah. Especially to my dad and mom. Yeah. Um, we were 13 in the family. What? <laughs> we were a whole soccer team, na tupa bench, na tupa bench. <laughs> 13 in yeah. the family, uh, six have died. Oh, no, I'm sad. number seven in the family. Okay. Uh, so we we remain with eight. I'm the second from the last born of my family. So we you are number eleven. My, yes. Wow. <laughs> so uh, we had also some uh, you know siblings. My my nephews from my sisters. You know when they die they leave the nephew. Yeah. Um, the house. It was a little bit not not too small but big but it was one be- bedroom the house whereby it is as the pantry. Wait Let wait 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 wait, wait 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 wait. Before I finish, <laughs> Kai. Yes, thirteen. A, I'm telling you, this is what wow. I grew up. Yeah. Um, the the dining room, uh, you know, you, you just cut it like you would under where my sisters were sleeping. My. And word. there was a pantry area where you 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 keep. Uh, the, the, the cultivation for the land, you know, Kumavala yeah, sweet so potatoes, those, 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 those the maize, maize, yeah. yeah. So we used to also sleep uh, the other side, but um, there was in the in the copper belt there was uh, the house called cabin, somewhere there like that, yeah. 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 But you need to hide it in such a way that uh, the, the ZCCM or the inspector they can't see it because they were not allowed, but it was uh, still happening because. Uh, uh, too much of extended family, uh-huh. so also to eat nice, trying to whatever dad trying to provide, but uh, we were uh, still so many. But uh, we we survive and uh, <laughs> he make sure that uh, we we were going to school and he uh, try to finish uh, the, the, the the education. Yes, we were thirteen and six have died. There is uh, three of my sisters, yeah, and uh, three of my my brothers. You know, you've mentioned one room, so I can only imagine what the sleeping are. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, I'm still stuck on that. I'm trying to imagine 13 the children. The one room is for my dad and mom. So yeah, we, everyone the else. The other is a sitting room, yeah. and then there is a dining room, which was also more or less like a, a, a sleeping area. And then there is a kitchen, you know, and then there is a dining yeah. area. Uh, there is a, a corridor area where there was a bathroom, toilet, and a, and, and a shower. Uh, and then when you enter to the kitchen, there is another room where I explain to you, you know, where they they keep, you know, you you know, in those days of kaundas, you know, go back to the the land and one and so till, the yeah. thing that that's where we are keeping. But people were sleeping there. Wow. Sometimes we use even to sleep on the kitchen if if the visitors come from the from the village. My. When you look at that background and you walk into your house today, how do, how do you feel, man? Because I was looking at your house and that thing is huge. How many bedrooms is your house who show, now? Who show you? Who show you? You posted it on your Facebook page, I never man. I posted it. It's on your people Facebook they, page. No, people they posted. <laughs> okay, sometimes I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying not to involve too much of my wife and the kids yeah. in my things that I want to do. I want to show people what I have, whatever. I'm yeah. not that kind of person. I want to have my, my my thing. If they want to ask me the questions, own it about me. Yes, I'm married with four kids. Blah blah blah. Yeah. But you never see me posting things, whatever. It's just people they post, but it's okay. That's my house. Yes, it's a five bedroom the house. Five bedrooms from one and thirteen. Four, four are self contained. Wow. One is not uh, uh, just self contained. It's only one. Does it have any other special things that you know that normal homes don't have? Ah, everybody they, yeah. they they have because uh, I've stayed in the westerners and I copied the way they live. I have my swimming pool at home. I yeah. have my bar area. You know, I have a, a gym. Uh, not yet, maybe to put my the, the, the gym things which is inside. Yeah. Um, so I have where I can relax outside, which is okay. Everybody has whatever they they, they, they want to have in their own house. But uh, that that that's what I wanted. Is my house? It's my come a piece <laughs> of what I wanted. So. Um, I'm happy. Did, did your parents have a taste of your success? Yeah, for sure. I, I, are they, are bo- they still alive? Are they around? Yeah, they are still alive. Uh, the, uh, I've bought a house in Rwanda. For them? It's a, it's a four-bedroomed house. I put them everything that they, they need. Yeah. Uh, as I'm speaking, still they are in Rwanda, but they are going to their farm. Uh, there's Kwamukolwe area there. Yes. That's where they are, the, the farm. When my dad retired, that's where he bought the farm. 
and uh, my other siblings uh, are also there. Too. Ah, mad respect, man. Mad yeah. respect. You've taken care of your own, eh? Thank you. Mad respect, no, no, because man. Because I told my dad that this leg is going to look after you, so <laughs> I make sure that my dad is being... Uh, after been he bought the boots for you in grade six, man, at least uh, I give you, you've paid back in many more ways than just the boots. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we talk about your, you know, growing big in soccer? You mentioned like in grade 11, you started playing for, what's the club again? Kalurushi Modern Stars. Kalurushi Modern Stars, yeah, and they started paying for your school fees in grade 11. So yeah. how, how does it grow from there? Um, I think I was developing so fast in such a way that people, they didn't realize. Uh, but I was taking, you know, my time looking at the coaches, what they have passed through. They were not lashing me, but I was a determined person. Uh, and, uh, you know, playing football, th- that's what I wanted. And all the challenges that I was facing, it's not a problem. Uh, they started recognizing me very quickly when I was playing in Division 2 by Alfred Lupia, was the coach. He wanted to take me to Dap United. Mm-hmm. Then he was being taken to Kalush Modern Stars. Then he, t- he took me. I was in the 11, as I said. Um, I supposed to go and play for Power Dynamos, yeah. where the Gasto Mutobo was. And then Gasto was laid out. Because of my education, I was in the 11 to go and play to to Power Dynamos, my dad said, don't disturb him, let him finish also the 12. I don't care about the results. I just want him to finish the 12. So I went back to Karush Modern Stars when I was in the 11, it was in Division 1 that time. Now. Yeah. So I brought it back. I was the top scholar in the league. And then uh, uh, Gasto took me to, uh, to Green Buffaloes, where I became a soldier. Uh, I'm still a soldier, but I'm retired. Also, you were in I'm soccer. Good. So by virtue of playing for Green Buffaloes, they made you join the army. Yes. You oh, have great. to. It was uh, more of mandatory in such a way that one day maybe you, you stop football. Yeah. Uh, it's going to help you uh, with a pension or thing. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a government institution. So as I'm speaking, yes, I'm waiting for my pension. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't come through. I'm telling you. Because I mean, you only... Re- 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 uh, Resigned from the army when five months ago, you said five, yeah, five months ago, yeah. Ah, we'll, we'll talk more about that a little okay. later, yeah. Okay, so, so that's how I uh-huh. was raising up my, my career step by step, you know, for people to start now recognizing, okay, there is this the boy, oh, okay, this, this is the this is a champion. Some, some of the guys, uh, some of the coaches, they were even predicting uh, what I am today, even lifting the Africa Cup. They were predicting, and I was there, there were prophets. Yeah, but you know, Zambians, but it was happening. That's how I, I was raising up uh, in, in football. Okay, so at what point do you now join the national team? Um, the P- Peter Kaumba was uh, in charge of Green Buffaloes. Yeah, in 2001, we played Coca Cola, Coca Cola Cup. You play Division One and the Premiership League. So Green Buffaloes versus Z. Kalush Modern Stars. So I was outstanding. So Peter Kaumba wanted me to go to Green Buffaloes. And he was in charge of under 23. Yeah. So he was laid off. Then Mutobo came in, the one who wanted to, for me to go to power. He came to take on Green Buffaloes. That's when he took me. And after eight months, they bring back Peter Kaumba and he find me because he wanted me. Mm-hmm. So I just played first game for Green Buffaloes and he called me for the for the under 23. And and, and that's it. I I, I never been dropped. Uh, Waro is playing for the national uh, for the under 23 until I graduated to my to the senior national team. Senior senior. I went to professional football and go on and go on. <laughs> and the story builds up from there. Builds up, yeah. Now you've traveled the world, bro. Like yeah. a whole lot. I mean, you've played in, um, if I can mention countries on top of my head, South Africa, Germany, Denmark, Greece, China. I mean, which part of the world haven't you been before, man, like in your lifetime? Where, where would you like to visit now? Where, I want to go one day, I think, to Australia. I haven't been to Australia. The only way where I, didn't I can tell you a story about Australia. I've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go and see the story. Mm. I, to I want to go and see the kangaroos there one day. But, <laughs> I but saw the kangaroos, yeah. And they're all over the place, like even near town centers and all that. Kangaroos are all over the place. It's, it's Friendly like, animals, yeah. Maybe. They told me that it's like the, the way we keep the dogs. Maybe yes. Maybe we keep kangaroos also there. <laughs> so can we talk about, you know, one thing that I find amusing about soccer 
globally. You've traveled, I've mentioned, I think, five or six countries where you've played for in clubs. Uh, South Africa, Germany, China. Yeah. Well, uh, where else? What have I forgotten? Greece. Greece, Denmark, you know, Germany. Yeah. yeah. You know what really amazes me, amuses me about soccer players mm-hmm. is how, you know, there's all these big leagues like the Premier League, you know, Syria and all that. Yeah. You leave a country like Zambia where we only speak English, but you and I, you know man, what I mean? Man, and then you go to a country like Greece where English is rare. How does the communication work out in a team where you're supposed to receive instructions from a coach? <laughs> I think it's a, it's a good question. Maybe people they want to ask, yeah. uh, to ask me or whatever. But um, uh, you know, for, for, for the viewers uh, out there, they yeah. need to know that uh, football is a universal language. They mm-hmm. didn't know that football is. There's no language in football, but it's also a universal language in football because uh, if if I'm moving. I'm moving to this direction. If somebody sees me with a ball, I don't need to speak English. I have to speak Chinese or to speak Dutch <laughs> uh, or to yeah. speak Nyanja. You want to pass it? So, f- football, first of all, it talks itself. And you know, because football is also the teacher, it's going to teach you the language of football. Yeah. So, that makes it easy. So, no matter which language you are playing, if they tell me that you are playing a number nine or number ten, you are playing left back or full back. Yeah. I know everything that is a footback or right back, what he's supposed to do. So there is nothing like, okay, if you, I won't give you the ball because you didn't tell me in, in Germany or whatever. I'll just see your movement. Oh, you want it there. I'll just pass it. That's the best language ever I've come in Action. this world. It's only in football. You don't talk, the football is going to just talk for you. you no, know, because I'm trying to imagine a situation where you're in a country like Greece and the coach say only speaks Greek. Yeah. So how are you getting your instructions when he tells you at this point, you know, pass the ball to this guy, then we do this and that? Sometimes I'm, that's where the intelligence comes. You yeah. Know? Every footballer who has played football, I never seen a Dao person. But he never <laughs> got to school, for example, like myself. Yeah. Uh-huh. But there is no Dao footballer or the, the DJs. Because sometimes, if somebody didn't translate you, for example, you start the exercise. Yeah. Okay? You know what you do? You go to the back. You wait for the others to start doing the exercise. And then you see it. Or even if you haven't heard the instruction from the coach. Even if I don't hear the instruction, I will let the others... They can be speaking Greek. They can speak whatever language, but that football is going to speak for me. I will just let the guys start, okay? Yeah. Pass, pass, here you go there. Pass, 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 here you go there. Pass, pass, here you go. When it's my turn, I will just do the same and then the language is there. That's why I tell love about food. <laughs> so the language is loud and clear. It's just that round thing and that come a square thing. When you go outside, <laughs> it's not a problem. Speak yeah. broken English, whatever. No pressure. You come what? Ah, no pressure. But if you are doing what the coach wants, it's not a problem. So uh, which was the first... I, I know the first uh, team you played for outside Zambia, the first uh, country was in South Africa. South Africa, yes. Jomo yeah. Cosmos. How did you find yourself there? Um, I, I think we went to play uh, 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 Power Dynamos. Mm. I remember that thing, and then I, re- I received a call. We beat Power Dynamos 2-0. Uh, Dad Rifich scored the, uh, the, the first one. I scored the second one. And then I received the call in the bus as we are coming back home. He said, uh, there's somebody who wants, you know, you to play. What, what, what? They told me, at who? there's Jomo, what, what? He's going to call you now. Oh, okay. Let him call me. Then he called me from South Africa. Hey, Katongo, how are you? Hey, bra, bra, what, 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 what we speak? And then it was Sunday where we were going, we were going back to, uh, to, to Lusaka. Yeah. And then he said, I'm going to buy you a ticket to come to South Africa on Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, okay? So wait for my call from manager. I said, okay. It's not a problem. I was thinking he's joking. Then Monday, the manager called me. He instructed me, what, what, what can I do? I said, listen, if you're going to send the invitation letter from my bosses, whatever, the army commander, that time still I was a soldier. Yeah. I said, it's going to take time. What we do, I'll just try to sneak out. And then I bring <laughs> everything that they w- want. W- w- were you in a barracks at this point? You know, uh, when you, when you say sneak out, what, what, what are you sneaking out from? I'm sneaking out to go and play from the barracks or from a camp, soccer no, camp. I'm or? sneaking out yeah. to go and have my contract, and then they start negotiating themselves mm-hmm. club to club. Me, I've already have mine, and I'm waiting for them to make a decision ah, because okay. uh, they were denying me not to go. Uh, this team wanted. They are saying no. Wednesday. We were playing off the continent to that time. So that's what he told me on Wednesday. I tell the coach that I'm sick. 
I won't come for the training. <laughs> he said, ah, no, but I need you to come to the training. Yeah. But I was flying out to Jobek. Wow. Uh, that's how I find myself there. I stayed there two days. It was in the newspaper. The day it was in the newspaper, I was coming back. Uh-huh. And I, I tell Jomo the process what to do. So when I was coming back, Jomo has already fought the chairman, my secretary, that let's negotiate. This player is going to be mine. So by the time I'm coming there, I had all the papers in yeah. place. I start my unpaid leave. There was that we call unpaid leave in the army, yeah. where you can go whatever you want to do, but they just seize your salary. Mm. So that's how it happens. So how much did they pay for you, like the first deal? You leaving Zambia to join South Africa, uh, Joma Cosmos in South Africa? Yeah, there was How some, much? Um, I can't uh, start talking about Come on, it. you can disclose. This, this is public information. We know, we no, know when Cristiano Ronaldo is no, bought. The, the, no, yeah. those are rumors. No, but it's, say, it's all okay, over the news. Pounds, I can tell you BBC can't no, uh, release no, a story based on rumors. Those are rumors. No, Katonga, that's a what lie. Is in the, I, I'm telling you. I know, come on. What is in we, the court? We, <laughs> we can't have the... B, uh, when BBC reports, I, I, I take it as fact. There is no one... Who when they said Cristiano is moving, Christian Bale, 1 million, 100 million. That yes, should have to be a fact. Those are, those are the transfer fees between the club and the club. Oh, but how much the individual is paid is not... It's not they don't show. So how much do they pay for you, the transfer? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I can't review it because it was in the contract when it's in the contract i can't review it but the the club to club yes there was a, a fee that they paid to the club and the club okay and there was me when i went there there was my sign on fee and my salary every month and my bonus is there any any transfer fee that uh, wasn't in the contract that you can share with us i want to know how much value they put on you the highest it depends yeah. how you on the on the top of the level so for example if 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 somebody goes to play in South Africa, for example, mm. yeah, maybe they, they, will, they will sell you maybe 500,000 rand, 1 million rand. What's, what's the most they've paid for you? Huh? What's the most any, any team has ever paid for Christopher Katombo? In China. Uh, how much was it? I can't believe you. Oh, come on, man. Come on. No, you wouldn't believe when you're I not say playing, You're not playing for them anymore, so there's no breach of contract. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, when I win my Africa Cup of Nations, yeah. uh, I, I had my salary. And then I supposed to go to another team which wanted me to be pay me more salary. Yeah. So what they do is they 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 tear my other contract yeah. and they give me the new one. So I was handsomely bid paid. I can't lie to you. Come on, just talk, just a figure. No. Okay, something close. Okay, let me let me give you numbers. Huh? A million dollars. More. Sign on fee. Uh huh. No, not about sign on fee. The salary. Sal- and, and, and then there they pay like how much? Uh, they pay like what? Uh, weekly. Every month. Every month? Mm-hmm. Or was it more than a million dollars? Per year? Yes. Per year? Yes. Okay, I'll do the math from there. <laughs> 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 but the transfer fee, what's been the highest? China as well? No, uh, uh. I didn't know. Uh, the, the transfer fee, I think uh, there was uh, uh, from Greece from Greece to, to China. Yeah. I think they pay like um, uh, over $300,000 for me Fair to enough. go there. It's, it's not a big number, but hey, for... Uh, because I didn't want to, to, to stay in Greece, because uh, the, 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 there was not straight things. Because I stayed in Western, where everything is straightforward. Yeah. And I was getting cash money, you know, and it, it was not so I mean, good for me, so... You know, I'm, I'm a bit so disappointed. I, I was like, I'm not coming still, even if yeah. you say one million, whatever, to sell me to, to China. Yeah. I'm not coming back there. So they need to even agree... Uh, some certain place to just take a little bit the money back for what I've stayed in Greece. When, when the big buck starts coming in, South Africa, of course, was paying you something, but when you moved to Europe, is when you started handling big money, right? I think for me, there was no much of a big money or small money. Yeah. I think I was uh, using it wisely. Uh, that, that, that's what I was coming to. Like, how, how did you spend that? When the first big money comes in, how excited were you? What, what were you spending money on? Because, uh, no, I, I loved football. Yeah. I was, you know, not clubbing, not drinking, uh, not doing things that, you know, would distract me from football. It's training, home. I'll train twice, but yeah. the team, we are training once. So I will have my extra effort. What I wanted is to go into Europe. So even if I, would, I, I was taking five quarts, mm. I would just use it nicely because... Uh, I was always thinking about football. 
Okay. Yeah, but I mean, you're in Europe, and this is like the first time you went to Europe in your life, no, right? The, 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 oh no, you're actually in the national team before that, so you had been to yeah, Europe already. Yeah. Because I was, I was imagining you're having money, you're in a foreign land, the excitement, shopping, visiting, and whatever. I thought maybe you had those years of responsibility at some point. You know what I mean? No, I wanted to to reach a, some certain level whereby I'm, I'm now, I'm now, Chris. Okay. Uh huh. And then I can start doing the, the, the things that, you know, you, 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 yes, we are human beings, we can do whatever. Whatever yeah. these people, they do whatever. Because there is no time in football uh, to do most of the things that you want to do. Most you're of the training time, most of the time, yeah? Yes, most of the time you are still, you know, playing football. Most of the time is dedicate yourself to game. So if you have one day or two days, you want to utilize it at, you know, at the fullest. So, uh, yes, I started, the, yeah, I said now... Yes, I am. I am now. But not yet, but I say I am now because I was in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you say, uh, I wanted to reach a point where I am now Christopher Katongo, what, what, does, that, what, what does that mean? This is what I wanted. I wanted the, the cognition. Mm. I wanted to be well known. Okay? Yeah. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to be famous. I wanted to a be big, a, a, coming for a, a powerhouse in soccer. Yeah. Can we show uh, levels there? Yes, when yeah. you're coming, they write things in the newspaper. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I wanted. <laughs> then I became on that one. I said, yeah. now I'm I'm here. So what now next is there? So I was what, saying still. Were you already married by the time you were going to South Africa, Greece, Germany? Yes, I had my, my fiancé. Okay. Um, uh, when I do the Kovekela, I Kovekela yeah. her when I joined Green Buffaloes in 2001. Uh, and then uh, in 2002, she gave me my, my, my first born. 2002? So 2002, yes. Ah, okay. I was still playing for under 23. Then I, I took whatever I've gone, my wife, she's been always with me. You, you got married early, man. It's, it's not, it was not okay marriage. Was it like 20 years? Yes. In 2002? I was, yes, 20 years, 21, something. What? what? But this I, is I know, I think for, for our culture. This is our tradition. Ah, come on. You know, if a lady over 25 to get married yeah. here, it's difficult. Yeah, I, 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 get, I get what you're start, saying. <laughs> but then start, again, if, you, if you're making money, why not? Eh? And you were sure. making money. For sure. Jimmy K says if you're broke, don't get married. <laughs> yeah, but we believe that behind <laughs> yeah. the success, there is a woman. Yeah, true, true story. So you stay too much alone yourself. You are too much freedom, especially in, in sports perspective. Yeah. It's not an easy thing to, to be alone because you're going to be doing some certain things which is going to distract from football. But if you have a quickly more of responsibility, yeah. uh, football, you will focus quickly. Because fo- football, you need to sacrifice. That's how football is. It's different from tennis and ba- whatever, boxing and what, what. If you see Mike Tyson also, he was with the wife, boy, he was a heavyweight, you know, 20 years and what, what. Yeah. So, yes, it's a black thing, but, you know, when the European things comes in with the ladies and the guys, then they say, ah, I'm waiting for the money to come. I think you are making a problem to say, okay, when I'm rich, that's when I'm going to get married because the wife is going to find you are rich again. So when you you are no longer having things, the, the wife you left you will go because he find you, you are rich. So, but, he, but <coughs> don't worry. It's, 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 it's people, what they, whatever they have believed in, whatever they want to do, it's their own thing. But me, I started staying with my fiance in 2000. At the age of 20. At the age of 20, 2002, Wait, I took you, you, him everywhere. You, you're, talk, you're talking about culture as in, this is our culture. You know, at 20, I can get married. It's our culture. But it's not our culture to move in with someone at 20. That's, that's well, a, not, not, not at any age in this country. Yeah. Cohabiting is, not, is seen as uh, <laughs> something that's uh, not of our culture. So how did you manage convincing her family and yours that you could live together? Yeah, I, I told them because she, she, she got pregnant before <laughs> she, she can finish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can finish in grade, grade 12. Okay. So I took the responsibility and said, oh, hey, don't start, you know, this family. Ah, what, what? They say, H- how old was she? I think she was uh, 18. 18? She was 18, okay. 17, 18, if I'm not mistaken. You guys got married. I got married at 32. No, that that, that that's that's uh, that's not so good. I, 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 even if I, T- I tell Switch, I tell him. <laughs> he doesn't even think about it. Right? <laughs> no, but he is 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 just lying from it's the time. problems. Mm. But those are not problems because if you have a challenge, yeah, then you are going forward. If you don't have a challenge in life, you don't go forward. So, let the challenge comes in. 
You know, we're supposed to come back 0402. I come back 22. That's you a know challenge. There's someone it's protecting you somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, true. I agree. You know, so there is advantage this side and disadvantage this side, depending on with whatever. Yeah, because you know, a lot of guys will say it's better when I'm financially stable. Long cope. Yeah, when he comes, you yeah. find everything you are there, you have put everything in place. And when the divorce comes, it's still you will share. <laughs> when you start together, yeah. it's the same, even if you start together. But when she, she's behind your success, it's more of saying, hey, but she was always with me when I had 50 kwach. Yeah. Now I've got 150. I've got a million now. Yeah. Millions like but, you but, now. But also, another disadvantage is that you never know who loves you when you have money. Because yes, you have cars and what, what. Yeah. Everybody wants those things. Hey, yes. So, I don't know. It's, it's not easy to find those things in place. But when you are with him, you are starting come a studio like this. Yeah. You know, struggling to have come a Mikey. She's there. <laughs> you, you know, it's, it's making sense. And that's the story of my life. It's making sense. <laughs> that's the story because, of my life. Because now, now, for example, now you have the studio, you have everything. Mm. No one who said not. Who to told you. you about me? Uh uh-uh, uh, don't tell me who told you about <laughs> you. <laughs> no, so it's, you know, it's almost as if you're sharing my life story right now. You know what I mean? No, sorry. I'm just predicting because I know how these things uh, go. The, the African you know, ladies. <laughs> yes, they want yeah. things. You know, good things. But if a But did she love you with those things or she love you with your heart? I know what you mean, eh? So, so now you, you, you start living with her at 20 and uh, 2002. 2002 when you're 20 years old. Yes. So at what point do you get married? I, I get married in 2008 officially. 2008. Wait, wait, where's my phone when I need something to throw on the table? <laughs> <laughs> I got the wedding in Indonesia. You cohabited, you were living together for six years? Yes. And I'm assuming those. In fact, de- seven years. We, we, I, I, I dated uh, her from when I was 11. I was still dating her. Girl yeah. 11, that is 99, <laughs> I was dating her. 2000, yeah. I was still dating her. 2001, she was with me. 2002, Two, first child. First child, I took her to South Africa. And then... Uh, From that time, she was always with me. I'm assuming between then, 2002... Then officially, when I went to Germany, yeah. in 2008, I think September, October, I officially get married. And there are, more kids. there are more kids before the marriage. No. Just the one. It was one. Ah. And then in Germany, I had my, my second child. And then I went... To, uh, no, in Denmark, I had my, 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 my second child. And then my third child was a, a German. Those, uh, my kids have got a, 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 a German citizenship, for sure. When they grow up, they can go to school. In Germany. And then the, my last born is, is a Chinese. He was born in China. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> But he, I just make like sure how that you say like the, 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 <laughs> like a child is actually Chinese, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but because he, no, but I know what you mean, man. Demonyms, yeah, yeah. for sure, yeah, yeah, true. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so, what? How many in Germany again? I've, I've Each got one three is foreigners. Only three foreigners. One, only one's one, one, only the first one is Zambian. Zambian because uh, it was <laughs> <both> three foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I call them foreigners because I say, okay, you have education. This is your birth yeah. uh, record. You can if. You want to go to school to German? Yeah. We just saw this criteria. You go to school, they allow you because you are in yeah. German. You know, the, um, I grew up in Kitwe. Even in Mufler, I lived in Mufler before. It's a copper belt. If Let's just say copper belt. Copper belt. You, have come Kitwe, I'm copper. you see what he said? Did you hear what he just That's said? A copper belt. Here. Kitwe is copper belt. And I grew up in the, in, on the copper belt in Kitwe. Yes. Yeah. Now, I bring that up because in Where Kitwe. Where are the Chimwemwe dances? Chimwemwe dance, Kopala dance. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, everything Yours. comes from Kitwe. In Chimwemwe, to be specific, uh-huh. everything starts from Chimwemwe. Yeah. Now, I, I bring up Copper Belt because growing up on the Copper Belt, I, I, I lived a few years in Muflira, lived a few years in Kitwe as well. Okay. And we would see, and it's, I, I really hate bringing this up, but we would see a lot of uh, you know, former football stars who were there but, financially, yes. but now... They are on the, the, How are yes. things looking for you in the next 10 years? Uh, is everything set? No, no. We don't want to see... Me, me I'm, I'm set. <laughs> uh, on a personal level, I think I'm set. Okay. Um, I was even uh, um, trying to so maybe to educate, orient, like my brother. Yeah. Uh, Felix. Felix. Yeah. We were always... 
in making plans together with my brother. Uh, like, okay, when he was playing France, how much you have? Okay, how much you have? Go and buy this house, whatever. He has like four houses, you know, I orient Tsambalungu, uh, um, uh, I orient uh, Mayuka. Okay. Uh, I have oriented many because I think I was born a leader. So I, I don't have jealousy in everybody. So you, you, you guys are... Suzu's. Yes. What, what, what are you say, investing in? They have invested in their houses. Okay. People have invested in their houses. Okay. So that one, uh, uh, what was happening to those you said... You know, the, the Harrison Chongos, just to yeah. give you an example, the Tanners is still alive. Uh, you, you know, we, so we learn from them how they were misusing money. And uh, we learn that one day we need a shield. Yeah. You know, so and your children I still need to go to school. Yeah, so and, this you know. generation of my fellow African players, 2012 and the rest, you know, they, they have invested wisely. Let's talk about AFCON, man. Okay. You, you've, you've done a book about that, but we'll come to the book a little later. Okay. AFCON 2012. What was it like, you know, getting into AFCON 2012? You know, how, how was it? The first game, the atmosphere, let's just say, leaving the Zander, going to the AFCON, what was the atmosphere think, like amongst the team, team members? I think all the Africa Cup I participated have scored, maybe to give you the history, because <laughs> you just know me that... Uh, is a is a captain, captain for 2012. Yes. Uh-huh. I think I've participated in in five Africa Cup of Nations, and mm-hmm. all of them have scored in goals. Uh, I've scored the goals for this country. I think 23 or 25. Yeah. I've played the cups for this country. I think 105 or 103, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere there. Yeah. Uh, so so when it comes to the the first Africa Cup of Nation, like the first feeling, I think my first feeling is was in 2006. Kalusha was uh, was uh, was the coach. Yeah, uh, I was just excited because I was just turning like twenty five years. To young, just you're, there. you're a young guy. I'm young, so it was excited to have your name on the jersey and stuff like that. So uh, to be there was just like this. Is, uh, this is I've it. made it now. But now you start realiz- realizing the impact and the fans what they want. So as as. As, as I was participating in the games and the games and the games, I realized that Zambia never won the Africa Cup, but... Ever. Are, yes. I mean, at, at that point, we had uh, participated in... Uh, what? We had I, reached the final in 1974, 94. 94. But uh, after that, it never. Yeah. So, I know the hunger and the grief, you know, the solo, Filamba Fiamma fans, <laughs> what they were feeling. Yeah. And I was still entering in their shoes. Even my fellow players, they knew. Uh, especially that we, we, we went to play where we lost the, the entire team in 1993. 93, Gabon, so yeah. for me, the feeling of this first game is that this is our time. And I was saying before, so coming to your question, you say, how do you feel for the first game? I, I, was, I was just feeling just to fulfill what God has put things in me just mm-hmm. to fulfill what I was speaking out because I was speaking out before it came yeah. and nobody was listening at me one month ago in, in, that was in December 2011 when we were in camp uh, the media would say okay captain you can come and speak to, on behalf of my players uh, what is your, your opinion about this there is in the group there is Senegal, Zambia uh, Libya and and Ikotolo Guinea, the co-host. So, are you want to win? What? What? You know the questions of the media, like you are <laughs> questioning. Me. Yeah. But I was saying, this is it. This is our, this is our cup. If we don't take it now, it will never come. But they say, ah, wa Chris mule sava ila film. Oh Chris, but I'm not drinks up. I don't even. What, what is uh? I'm done. What, what are we drinking here? By the way, we are doing this episode from Amalgam Restaurant at East Park Mall. You could be wondering why so many people are passing behind here. Uh, it's because we're at East Park Mall, just by the corridor, and that's where Amalgam Restaurant is. And it's the only Zambian restaurant, like wholly Zambian-owned restaurant at East Park Mall. And they've made history in that regard. So please feel free to come through anytime with your family. Enjoy a good meal. Smells good. Fresh food. And you can tell from the drinks here that there's something special happening here. What, what are we drinking here? What, what's, what's this? It's a mocktail. Okay, which one you want? Uh, let me have the tall one. Muli, muli, let me have this muli, tall one, yeah. What's the name of the Shishi, I'm going to eat more than that. And what's this one? This is a Malga mocktail. Malga mocktail. And this one? 
rainbow mocktail. But why are they mocktails, man? You know Chris takes whiskey. No. Huh? No, I don't know what Oh, you don't, say, you don't like. serve alcohol here. You don't, don't serve alcohol here. Oh, they said they are Christians. So us, we are. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I'm joking. <laughs> it's yeah. a mocktail. Oh, mocktail. It's mocking me, so, looking so, like it's about to get me high, but so nothing. Can I taste? Okay, thank you. Not bad. <clears throat> Not bad. Yeah, so Chris, what we're talking about uh, AFCON 2012 and you going in. The first game you play is against Senegal. <laughs> yeah, the first game it was... You know, if there's one thing that's been running through my mind, or should I say at that point, running through my mind then, is did the Gabon Air disaster of 1993 do anything to you? Like, you know, the first game, we're here, where the greats died from, you know what I mean? Did it do anything special to you guys as a team? I think it's a, it's a, it's a special way in such a way that... Uh, we had an opportunity to go where the plane crashed. Mm. Uh, and I remember vividly in the in the bus, you know, there was some quietness. Yeah. Whereby it's like we are bringing the picture of of those brothers. I think those time they were older than us because that time I think I was in grade six, grade seven when we, we, we lost the, the, the entire uh, national team. Um, I, I I don't know, but uh, God helps those who help themselves. I think it's it was also part of maybe motivation. I think just to to make sure that we we we, we have the memory of them and um, uh, you know I, I think I'm happy you know just to to achieve what everybody you know fail achieved first personally yeah. as a first captain. I think I'm I'm <coughs> proud. There was some captaincy before me maybe yeah. they wanted also to lift yeah but it couldn't happen and then on the on the actual like all all the team i think to achieve that thing you know we did it together uh, you know it's, it's emotional to them when we went there but um, but what's important is just to fulfill what zambians wanted and you mentioned that uh, when you went to the first game there was that emotion like you know our our brothers, older brothers, died in the same country, and you're just the, the stadium no, we're playing it from. It was, was emotion when we were coming. Yeah. Did did anybody out. did anybody on a bus bring it up? No, we after we we, yeah. we went to the to the to, to, to the to ocean. Sorry, not the river, the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same thing, man. It's English. <laughs> Come on yeah. No, 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 no. I we didn't go to the university. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Which but it's the same thing. Come on I'm telling you. Come on now. Why go come on so when when we came back from the the Kamana thing, yes, uh, we went in the bus, uh, and it was you can see the intense of you know people trying to reflect on whatever happens yeah. on that liver, and you, you 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 see players they like you know listening to the music and so forth. But um, uh, I look at the players most of the time. I was sitting in front, okay. most of the time as a captain. As a captain, even into the bus, I was sitting in front. The small bus in front. The big one, I wanted even to see the drive. So, you know, when you look at the back, you see my intense kaja. You see my emotion, you know, of quietness and whatever. But they are, well, you know, listening, whatever. Yeah. But you can feel my intense. But when the games come, we were underdogs. But uh, I think Senegal had the players, but they didn't have a team. As we had the team. And you, you, won, the, you won the game, yeah? Yes, we beat the yeah. Senegal to one. Yeah, yeah, I remember that much. Yeah, and so we go through. You you drew some games, won all of them. Uh, won, drew some, won some up to the final. Ivory Coast won every game to the final. Yeah, let's take it to the final. And yeah, but we beat them in the final. No, so no, they no, didn't win every game. But even in the final, they didn't score because the game ended nil nil. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Nobody scored any goal against Ivory Coast the whole tournament. <laughs> Ah, those guys, man. Well, yeah, what do, what do you think, think that secret was? They though? had players and they yeah. have a team, the Ivory Coast. Didier Drogba, man. Yes, they had the players and they had the team. Yeah. And we were the underdogs. And these are the things which is also in my book. Um, uh, I, 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 the things that I was experienced as a captain. Yeah. So I've written the book there. Um, uh, so uh, for me to play, those are the giants of Africa for sure. You know, Zambia was nothing. Uh, and uh, I was I was saying always in the newspaper and whatever I was saying if you want to be on the top you need to beat the people on at the, the top. top yeah true because uh, you know if, if you want to have a good broadcasting like like this idea you have brought in and whatever 
maybe you find people that are still there yeah. you, you need to have come up come as something knowledge of you know sneaking to be on top and and we did it as a zambian and uh, everybody was proud of us no one expecting that we're gonna win but we told them that we are winning you go on the soccer pitch and you meet big names like didier drogba and you guys are thought of as the underdogs how's the intimidation oh elson is here finally yo <laughs> Let's I talk about int- the intimidation. I was intimidating ha- them, but you I know inti- that these yeah. are superior than me, but I was intimidating them. Yeah. Because it's, it's 11 against 11. Yeah. Uh, football is played 11 against 11. They were playing in big, big leagues. Yeah. We didn't have big leagues. I was playing in China. I had my other players in Congo. I had my other players in South Africa, like Kennedy Mwene. Yeah. So there was no names in ours. What was there is a teamwork. But also, uh, Ivan Kos has a team and has the players. So, uh, beating them, yes, we were superior because we stay long together and, and then, you know, we did it. So, as, as a team captain, and uh, let, 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 let's, we've skipped the, you know, the whole Africa Cup tournament, you coming to the final, the journey to the final, we're now at the final, you're leaving the hotel to the stadium to play Ivory Coast, which has guys like Didier Drogba. What are you telling the team? I'm trying to imagine what message you're, you know, trying to put the into mes- your team <laughs> as you're heading to the stadium the, the, to play the, the greats of Africa, the, the Lions. Message, the message when you reach in the final, it's a coin. It's a, it's a head and tail. Okay. And do you remember when we reached to the penalties? It's a head and tail. Yeah, but what, what, I'm trying to imagine what message, as a captain, you're speaking to your team. The, what were you telling them? This is our time. If this time we mess up, I don't see any time to come soon this is our time and and i was telling myself every time that's why they were taking me to the doping state test most of the games they took <laughs> they took no me way. to the doping test because i was running like a mad no chicken. way is yeah this, is this like a normal thing everyone goes for doping tests or was it just you no you know on a doping perspective there is a, a, a landom landom picking yeah there is in the port they mix your names in one port uh-huh. and then they can pick randomly yeah. but to me they were not picking randomly in that one <laughs> they say ah, it's landing like a mad chicken <laughs> the whole, that, <laughs> maybe the whole na, 90 minutes yeah, maybe <laughs> na, na, so most of the time I was to the doping test yeah eh, most of the games I think what it was crazy did you even know about that, bro? Uh, no, no, no. But I, I, so, it's apologies my, for being late. No problem. You're welcome. How, how you're you doing, welcome. man? Good, good. Excellent. So, you, your you, apologies is exactly. Thank you. Hey, sh- you know, some but of us, we, we just wear. need to pay. We wear too many hats. <laughs> Please okay. uh, drop a few dollars on the table, then we continue. Eh? No, we'll do that. Today, okay. Moin. We'll so, so um, you might have or might not have covered this. Um, so, apparently, with the team that you led, a lot of these people were getting chucked out because they were going out to get prostitutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> these people were getting drunk. Did you cover this? No, 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 no. These people, were, to that, yeah. these people were getting drunk. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were acting like they were in Chicago's. Which one? The, this <laughs> Africa Cup? The one that you led, where people were actually being sent yeah, back. We heard rumors, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, we heard rumors. rumors that people were being sent back because of um, radical behavior. Okay. You know about this, innit? Yeah, we, we know. Uh, we we tried to protect the, the players, but in our camp, it was not like that. It was a, a vice versa of just people wanted more to play. Nobody because, went out? So nobody got sent back home? No, they, they sent back home one, yes. <laughs> oh, what, what did he do? <laughs> no, I didn't know what he did. Oh, he come did. on, you're the captain. <laughs> <laughs> no, me, 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 me is to, you know, to try and protect my players. So, you know... You can tell us. You can no, tell no, us. No. A football player is, is a different uh, perspective. Yeah. So, me, I'm there to protect the players. Right. So, if somebody is being sent, already the message will come to me at it was at least this, this, this. Was it something to do with sex? No. Getting oh, drunk? That one, that one, No. I can guarantee you, there was nothing So, you to do. don't know what it is, but you know what it is not. Yes. <laughs> 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 Should have been a politician. I hear it. you're I know, a soldier. Right? A you soldier. are yes, or I'm you weren't? I'm a soldier. That's part of the discipline, I'm sure, that, that got you grounded when you were playing, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, we, we've been taught for everything that you want to, to tell me. I've been taught. Right. Everything. A soldier has been taught everything. If you see somebody in the combat, 
give respect. I've got I've got a lot of tough questions for you, Mr. Chris, and I'm hoping we can be friends after this and no I don't get beat up. <laughs> no so, so those are coming, but I've got a lot of respect for you. No problem. Yeah. All right. As you were. So as, as we were talking about the final game, I was talking about, uh, I was asking about you going into the match, mm -hmm. what message you were trying to drive into your team, and then the game is delayed by 30 minutes. What did that do to you? Remember the final was delayed by 30 minutes. So that's the story behind the story. That's why I read the book. Yeah. Uh, the game has been delayed for 20, 15 minutes somewhere there. Yeah. Because we were arguing about the jersey. The jersey? We su we what? We what was the home. argument? Yeah. We were home. We're supposed to wear orange. Orange, green, orange. Wait, how, how were you home on the finals in Gabon? If you look at the screen when you watch the game, it's Zambia versus Ivory Coast. Ah. It's not Ivory Coast versus Zambia. So the first name which is starting there is a home game. But where were you playing? In Gabon. In the Africa Cup, there is a home team and they are waiting. What does home mean? Always what does home mean? <laughs> no, no, I, I no, really we don't know. know. I we really want to know. Home we team is the one which gonna choose the jersey to wear. You are at home. If Inkana goes to play Green Buffaloes, uh -huh. Green Buffaloes at home. Yeah, but what we're not getting is that we are using green. In Ghana, they will use red. But also, Green Buffaloes have got red jersey. They right. can say we're gonna use red. Mm. So in Ghana, they need to use the other. Alternative. Right, got it. So you spent that much time arguing over the jersey. Over the jersey. Uh, it started, in fact, pretty much briefing. Like, tomorrow is the game, today. Right. I go as a captain to present the two jerseys. We had the green, black, green. And we had the orange, green, orange. So I said, we are at home, we are playing with orange. And then there was calf things and FIFA things and all. It went on to say on the seedlings, there is an African thing of the seedlings, whatever. And they say, no, Ivory Coast has to choose the color. So those were the argument. Oh, so you being underdogs can't dictate what color to wear. Yeah, for sure, but we were at home. So I say, we are at home. It's Zambia versus Ivory Coast. So I choose to wear orange. I get it now, yeah. Why, why, why was the, um, that color or that jersey so important? The color for every country is very, very important, my brother. Don't you, underestimate color. You, you wore green in the final. Yeah, we wore green. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to wear orange. You wanted the copper, copper, copper yes. pride right. of, of Zambia. Copper, yes, yeah. right. But they said no. You are green for vegetation, whatever, whatever. <laughs> you need. And then I wear green. So you lost. That's how we, we lost the we bargain, like yeah. We were not at home, but we were at home mm -hmm. on the fight. Right, okay. But you kicked their ass, though. Hmm? You still kicked their ass, though, right? Yeah. Which one? No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. Remember the game ended uh, in your oh, whole yeah, 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 okay, right. No team throughout the whole Africa Cup managed to score against Ivory Coast. Jeez. It was nil. Ivory Coast 2 nil, yeah, one nil, yeah, three nil, yeah. until the final game, nil or draw with Zambia. But we, had to, we won the penalties, 8-7. Yeah, so halftime. What's the conversation in the changing room? Um, I think it was still not much, according to me as a captain. Yeah. I was saying, don't worry, guys. This is our time. I was just saying, this is our time. <laughs> you did not curse, throw shoes? Nothing, nothing. I, I don't believe in Juju. I don't believe in anything that people they want to say. I just believe in having, just work hard. Right. If you just work hard, things will come to you. You just work hard. Don't go to the what, what. You just work hard. That's the only thing I know. There, there were points in the game where we saw a lot of anger on your face when, you know, a, a guy makes a mistake. Which is what I'm imagining. I'm trying to imagine what the conversations were like at halftime. But I was... Because you were getting upset no, about. I was, yeah. I was uh, also a laugh captain behind the, the camera. <laughs> the Chani knows, uh, you know, Mayuka knows, uh, the Sambalungu knows. Uh, there was a time when Samba wanted to dribble, then almost he went. So I, I, I was a laugh guy before my coach speak. But uh, when we go for the drinking and whatever, so they know that this guy means business. We, we never speak what is in the ground. We just go and do our own things. When it comes to the ground, it's the ground time. When it comes to the outside things, outside things. So 
That's how I was. Interesting. Again, I don't know how much you covered, but I have got. Are you quite of late? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Now I, I, I'll, I'll watch. I'll, I'll watch this again. Have you guys spoken about? The payment or non-payment? Oh, we're coming to that. Oh, okay. We're cool. coming to that. Yeah, All right, cool. we're, trying to, we're trying to cover the whole Africa Cup first. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to cover the game now. That's right. where we are. Okay, cool. Yeah. So basically, just to put you up to speed, we've spoken about his life history are you and now. Timbering me or what? And now the. Yeah, the, but, yeah, the but the I was a boxer. No, we're coming. Hey, you were you boxer. Know, hey, I was like Mike Tyson. Right. Hey, okay, but can you manage two guys though? That's the thing. I like the subliminal message that this guy is throwing in. Like, ask me any shit. I don't want you to ask me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, you win the Africa Cup the, the final penalty The camera zoomed in a lot on your face As captain and stuff What was going through your head Like who scored, Was it Sunzu who scored the final goal? Sunzu, yes Sunzu is the man I remember that caption from the BBC We played it on radio like crazy that week mm-hmm. What was going through your head at that point? No The uh, final goal As I was saying at first mm. Me, I knew This is our time This is our day Yeah so when it was happening, I was not much too excited because reaching the final, uh, I was excited just just in the final. You know, I remember even having a, you know a glass of wine. You know, Evelyn, I was looking at me and said, "I think you deserve it because yeah. Evelyn, I was always telling me, ah, why are you running like this? you? You are just running like like no man's business." I say, <laughs> "I'm just doing for the last time. Yeah. If we fail." That's it. We are the oldest that they will chase from the national team. It's not even you, coach, they will chase. They will start from us who's older than these boys. So I need to have the example. So when the final whistle was blown, you see there was a picture of Mayuka and the rest, they were running. Me, you see, come a small one to the back. <laughs> because I just stayed and stayed down. No one see me that when I stayed down. No one showed me. They were showing where the action is. And I just came late to just grab uh, Sunzu for the prayers. Yeah, That's I remember you I guys did. went and made a we, circle. We played, we sang the song that he was, uh, you know, we sang always, every day. Wait, what song is that? We, we, we couldn't hear Kalombo you from Mwani. T- There's ah, the song called Kalombo Mwani. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so for me, it was not strange. It was strange. When I just touched down from Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, that's oh. when I feel the goosebumps. Said, How hey. so? Or were there like plenty of people waiting for you? Dude, I'm telling you, the plane was not even yet to stop the engine running. <laughs> people are still in the, to the engine. No. I see on the window, the security can't do anything. That's when I say, what? <laughs> We have done extraordinary things that I... You shut I down Great East Road, man. Yes, I know. But we also are asking the question. <laughs> you know what I mean? In Dalama. No. What free money did we get? Ah, no. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to money in a, in a little bit. Okay. Are you married? No problem. It's yes. Bad, yeah. Okay. With four kids. Okay, okay. No, there's a reason why I ask you that, but but, but keep going. Because I was going to ask with all this love that uh-huh. was coming from everybody. Okay. You know, you do get a lot of attention from the women. Yeah, that is true. Right. It's up to you to control it. Also, you had to control yourself it, then. Yeah, it is there. There's nothing you run away. You are a better man than I women, am. I'm telling you, women, <laughs> they, came, they came to us. They are from our lips. Uh. So no one will be perfect whatever it happens. Yeah. And it's a lot. Right. I used to change my, my cell phone just to call my wife. You used to change your cell phone to call your wife? I changed the numbers. Right. Also, so the, the, yeah. the numbers that the side pressure. chicks yeah. had. Not only even the side, whatever. Because uh. everybody wants the piece of you, so... Okay. He would change his number to avoid the side to checks. Avoid. To avoid. So never not once did you... Hey, once I see there is, is so many ones, I change. I, I take the other phone. <laughs> you are yeah. a better man than I am. Because I'm, I'm telling you, because you are single, he has already told me single. Who is single? <laughs> he said he's single? He said that. <laughs> so so you are, bro. So you are. I don't know if I sold you out or I marketed you. I don't know which is happening here. <laughs> wait, well, you said, oh, I'm single. I mm-hmm. didn't say that. Oh, wait, no, yes, I am. I thought you said he is single. No, yeah, I'm not single. I said I, I got didn't married at 32. You know the conversation started. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah no, true. no, I am. Okay. I am. You are single. Yeah, I'm single. You have Very. problems. Recently you think single. so? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I enjoy this, actually. Oh, okay. I think until I get to the other side where you and Kalenga are, 
I need to fully experience okay. this. No, enjoy it. Yeah. You know, the world would never finish. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> we find it. You find it, so... Let's get back to the plane. You okay. get off the plane, the whole country is waiting for you. Yeah. Literally, the whole country was waiting for you. You know, can I even just take it back a step? Uh... The moment you win the Africa Cup, you mentioned you sat down, brought the team together. Did you ever imagine at that point what was happening back home in Zambia? Uh, we were getting information, yeah. uh, but me, I was getting the information late. As I said, mm-hmm. when the game finished, I was uh, uh, voted the, the MVP of the tournament. And BBC Football of the Year the same year? Yeah, the same year, but yeah. now I'm talking to the ground. Ah, okay. To the ground, I was uh, voted the MVP most valuable important player uh, in the tournament and I was the top scorer together with Mayuka so I was receiving the trophy and I was the man, man of the match for, for that game so I received three trophies Damn. and uh, I was being waited for the security to finish the interview <laughs> I went for the press briefing instant celebrity the, the security were there because they wanted to take my sample they said maybe I'll put a ganja <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you went for a dope test again? Yes. You went for a dope test again most after the fight? Most of the game, I told you, most of the games I was being taken. So the guys went to celebrate in the dressing room, whatever was happening there. They were celebrating, but I was waiting for my urine sample. And you know, when you are running, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not easy to, to have urine. So I waited. Yeah, you're sweating like, the whole time, yeah. One hour, ten minutes. That's when I, I pee, I leave it, they took to the to the test. I was the last one to go to the hotel, eating the last one to the hotel. And everybody I was celebrated, whatever they were celebrated, me I don't know. The champagne, the what. And it was night. They say we're gonna start off flying at night. So it was in the room twenty zero two to zero four. That's when I went. This is when people start telling you what's happening at home now. Yeah. That's, that's when I went on the phone. I say, ah, what is happening is this? What is happening is this? What is happening is this? And then I said, oh, okay. Oh, they're happy. Hey, it's fine. They're happy. But the supplies is when we just landed at, at, the, airport. at the airport. Let me tell you what happened where I was. You've been to Granddaddy's before? It's just close by to my house. Yeah, same here. But I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to describe the kind of location the, the I was at. Granddaddy's was there 2012? No, no, no. I'm, I'm giving you, I'm trying to give you a, a, a picture of where I was. Oh. The place was a bit like Granddaddy's. Oh. And that night, you can imagine the, the, the way Granddaddy's is uh, shaped. Mm. Dude, the crowd was on the roof. No way. Of the building. And it's the kind of building where you're looking and trying to, you know, you're, you're trying to imagine how, how the hell did people get on, on the, the roof? roof? And it was like the whole club. On the to, roof to celebrate uh, the the, the Sunzu goal. That's so. how excited people were that night, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that one. I. You cried. We saw you on Greatest Road crying in your black suit and copper tie. I'm telling you, you, you couldn't believe the love you're getting believe. from the crowd because eh? I was I was on that thing for the the soldier thing where I was handling the trophy and stuff like that. And I remember, I think two people died because that. Ah, no that. way. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Is this not an alcoholic? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Okay. Two people died, so it was wow. crazy. But people, they were not... Okay, someone has died. They just went to see the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. It was mm. crazy. Mm. 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 It's nice. Mm. Mm. They are cooking nice. What about in there? Mm. Mm. It's a good chef. Pretty good, right? What did you eat? What Managers. Did you I don't know what... Was, what am I eating? What is this? And what be- is this? Be- and why is, there, is this mine? Hey, when, why is there no meat in mine? <laughs> you look like a vegetarian. What the hell do I look like here? <laughs> a vegetarian. Or a because goat. Because not yet married. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this guy here taking shots at me. <laughs> but you can see that the two married people, they have the meat. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay, Mr. Katongo, my turn is coming. <laughs> ah, it's okay. I wonder you. <laughs> All right. So, anywho. I know. You want to ask about what, what, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I want to ask about? The money, the water. Ah, don't worry. So, you come back. The, the whole country is waiting for you. What happens then? Greatest road, somebody dies, yes. Oh. 
I don't know how to even to describe. We went to the ground uh, agriculture show ground. Yeah. Where people were still standing there, and then there was pressure because they were standing on top to see the trophy, and then you know. It was a lot of things happening when they were ordering us uh, to be the free man of the city in the ground. We are taking out the certificate. I think uh, I, 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 it was crazy. I never experienced the craziest, you know, Zambian fans to to be crazy like that. I think. Uh, there's an there's, there's the issue. Again. There's an the issue of money that you want to talk about after yes. the Africa Cup. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, you want me to get into it now? Yeah, get into it now, man. So, money, 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 money. So you mentioned a couple of accolades that you got, trophies and whatnot. And obviously, winning such a to- tournament, there's money that comes with that, right? Yes. How was that for you? Did you guys get paid? Um, honestly, uh, we got the bonus. We got all the bonuses. It was just straightforward. Uh huh. But. Um, we never got the money in the cup. Huh? And uh, what do you mean? You never we, we proposed to the government. What does that mean? You never got the money in the cup. I don't know how to answer. If if I got yes, I could say it, I got it in the pocket. Okay. No, we never got the money which was in the cup. Uh, what we got is the winning bonus. Okay, okay, so okay, so who is the winning bonus from, and, and the, the money cup. from the cup? Who is it from? I think the, the no, it's from the trophy. When we have the trophy, there is a certain money that is in the trophy. And yeah, wh- but who who pays that money? Who pays that money? It's CAF and FIFA. So to who who do they pay it to? I don't know. Do they pay to the government to FAS? Who is the money yeah, paid to? The government to? has to know also, or even the the, 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 the the football association of Zambia has to know. So you were not paid. Yes, and I'm guessing you guys made a follow up to that. We we tried, uh, but it was not coming. Uh, I, I don't know why it's, it's coming now, because, uh, yes, I'm the captain. They need to find out everything. Yeah. And uh, just saying the truth, uh, this is what was happening. Mm. Um, even the government, they said, we're going to... Uh, I proposed that was the captain. That one, I, I standed out and spoke to the direct to the president. Uh, the late um, Michael Sata. Uh, Michael Sata. Yeah. And I, I, I came out to before I said the vote of thanks as a captain. I say uh, sometimes when we leave football, maybe we don't have a house, whatever. Please, we are asking if we can have that one. I remember vividly the president throw it to the housing minister. I think it was that time maybe in Kanduluo, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure about this one. So they say they will look into that one. And there was the, the money that they were, the bridges from the people mm. who were to the state house. Okay, this one to Kwacha, this one what? Maybe they didn't pay or they whatever, we don't know. But uh, what I know as a captain is that we we got the only the winning bonus. That's it? That's it. So, because I'm trying to figure out if somebody owes me money. I would go directly to where the money is supposed to come from. So, did you guys go to CAF to figure out if the money was remitted? And I think we were waiting for the signal, maybe for the for, for people who are in charge to say, okay, this money has come, or there was this, we're gonna do this, or we're gonna do this. We we are like waiting, and it was not, it's not coming. And it's been ten years, man. You guys are patient. Yeah. Huh? So, did you guys make noise uh, after that, or did you guys just? This let is slide? now the noise I've started. I, I, you know. Because there's a theory, and there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a question, there's a, there's a reason why I'm asking if you guys made noise then, because if someone owes me money, I'm not going to shut up, right? And 10 years down the line for it to pop up now, because it's a theory, right? I, Which I, can, is, I, can, I can tell you uh, what happened is that um, I was launching my book, mm-hmm. and uh, we have the 2012 group on my phone, uh, where we are discussing, you know, this issue that you are just asking me. Right. Um, the, I went to the minister because I've invited the sports minister to come to my book launch, which mm-hmm. is in the Hero Stadium. Mm-hmm. He has given me the Hero Stadium. So what happened is that I tried to, to kill two birds with one stone. And, right. and I went to the sports minister to represent uh, the, the, the problem, of especially to the, to the housing thing mm-hmm. and the things that we never got. And mm-hmm. then I spoke to the, to the sports minister. This is what we didn't get, whatever. So he said, it's going to come back to me and tell me what is happening. So before he came back to me, I don't know where this story has come. So they need to come and ask now the captain. So what is your, what's your relation? Is Faz invited to this book launch? 
Yes. They invited. First president have invited the, 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 the Mr. Kamanga. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, now you have. Event. News the other day was that you've left him out, invited Kalusha that, Wali that, instead. That, that, <laughs> that's the problem. I yeah. am I'm a person who use professional. It's a professionalism. I follow protocol. Mm-hmm. Even if, when I went to the minister, I still went to FAS and tell them, guys, there was this issue. Mm. Can you help us? Mm. And then I'm waiting for their signal. So it's not, if it's not coming, I'll jump you. As long right. as I've told you. Yeah. yeah. So what's your relationship like now with Kamanga in Fuzz? We have a good relationship. If, if anybody who can be they are involved in football. Football is round. You need to have a relationship to everybody. Do you think we they have do you think they're doing a good job? No. What, what, okay, what I can say, yes, for sure, there is some some t- certain failures. We didn't qualify, yes, for sure. You need to blame the head, one. But also it starts from the fans. If you if you raise that question, mm-hmm. you know they blame the head, but we we need to start blaming ourselves also from the fans there, starting from the spectator who watch the game because they are the one who start saying ah no this is a good good player he just played in the Premier League six games we want to play him for the national team mm. so you are the one who still destroy because our president is not the one who said come and play in the, in the national team. It's not right. the one. It's, yeah. the, it's the coaches. The fans, the coaches. Yeah. For sure, the last thing that you blame is the head. It's the head. Um, s- s- because the reason why I asked why this is coming up now and so much noise was not made around that time is because there's a theory, and I like theories, that apparently you and uh, Nkausu were paid to claim that you guys did not receive money. So this was propaganda that uh, you and Kausu were paid to spread. They are paid money to spread to you, to pay who? You and Kausu to to say what I'm saying now. Yes, nobody. Let him come and, and tell me that he paid me. He paid me what? <laughs> Nothing. Is it? The, is this the first time that you've heard of this? What? This is the first time. Okay. Nobody asked me the question that I paid. Who paid for me to say this? Yeah, apparently. No way. You know, me, I know Zambians. Yeah. I know this is my country. I know it. Mm. You know, even if you say the truth, there will be negative things. Right. Even if you say the wrong things, there will be still negative Negative things. stuff. Whatever you do in this country of ours, Zambians, they talk. Right. They can say whatever they want to say. But this is what I said. I was the captain. What I received is this. Uh-huh. And to see this story, it's not me. They don't pay me to, to start speaking like this. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Well, because we hope it, started, it gets resolved. It started again from the, uh, my, the, the, the president of Football Association of Zambia, uh, the president. I've already invited him through the general secretary. Yeah. I have the email. Right. And I spoke to the, 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 the president of Football Association of Zambia that, okay, I'm waiting for your response. Are you coming or not? Mm. He said, I'm in Dubai. I'll come. So I don't know if it's in Zambia or not. All right. So it's my story. It's not 2012. I want to clarify these things to you guys or to the viewers out there. This is my story. It's not 2012 of all the players. It's not about um Celebrating the uh, anniversary. Yeah. yeah, this is just my story. Anybody can write a story. Right. If Mayuka wants to write a story, it's he his can. story. Yeah. For 2012. From the way he saw it. From the way he saw it. This is my story, and I can invite anybody that I feel. That's why I invited the former president, the the the, the, the president who's there. I've already invited them. They they need to come to my book. If they don't come, it's fine. I'm not forcing people to come. It's my story. If the two people comes to my book, it's fine. This is where now we know where Zambians are, mm. where they stand. Because that's my story. Right. Anybody can write his own story. Guys out there, this is my story. It's, it's not about bringing conflict yeah, to yeah. this country. It's yeah. my story. Come. I've got musicians who have already talked to them to come and play football. So they are not yet to confirm the dreams. Yeah. Confirmed, your maps is gonna come and play for my Perfect. my 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 more or less of okay for funny game, but it's a game. Yeah, and uh, I'm inviting everyone, a- anyone. It's, that's my story. Can, it's can not we about, come too? It's not about fuzz. 
This is about. Can we can we come and play too? Yes, you 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 are welcome on your team. For sure, because uh, I've I got have my feet. my twenty two. Because if I don't invite them, then they will think um, I'm not thinking about them. Because we did it together, so yeah. that's why I invited them. Most of them they are in Osaka, some they are in Kawe. I've already spoke to them on the phone that they are coming. So I don't know how this rumor say say invited the only this not this. I've already invited everyone. Yeah, rumors spread like wildfire, especially uh, so issues like that. Yeah, I'm telling issues, you, yeah. Zambians, that is what we have. But if we don't change, we're gonna still keep on quarreling, quarreling, and things will never move, mm. and we'll be in the hundred years beyond the European. That's how. That's <laughs> how it is. You, you've, you've been promoted twice because of soccer. I remember in 2007 you were promoted from corporate surgeon, and uh, in 2012. The late president um, Michael Chilfia Sata promoted you again to yeah. uh, what? Correct. Warrant officer first class. Correct. Does this happen often in the army? Yeah, it happens. Um, Just based on other things not related to the, you know. You, you know, in the army, yeah, there is all job that you can talk about. Even there is a journalist or like a reporter. They, they, there is everything. So if I'm I'm in the army, you work I report well. well I'll yes. get promoted. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know. I was just wondering. Like this guy, every time he scores, <laughs> you know, like impressive goals, he gets promoted. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because I'm re- representing Zambia. It's like a war. I'm representing <laughs> my country ah, in the war. It's regarded as such in the army. Yes. Right. So you do it right, you get promoted, and when you get promoted, the salary goes up. <laughs> <laughs> Which you're still enjoying to date, even as a retired soldier. Yeah, for sure. He retired five months ago, still gets paid. Man, yes. Why don't you like I, such I a like, job, man? I like your life. <laughs> <laughs> I love your life. I'm just trying so, to push my pension. <laughs> How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I've told you. <laughs> that was, was my first you. question, bro. Yeah. <laughs> question one. I'm turning 42 in August. Mm-hmm. 42? Yes. you got a beautiful life, man. Yeah. Old I'm still youthful. Yeah. You're very young. Mm-hmm. Man, um, but sometimes they told me that I'm 36. Uh, soccer years, soccer years. <laughs> 36. I say, hey, thank you very much. Because actually, when I go, when I go to your Wikipedia, <laughs> it's, they say you're in your 30s. Because I try to do I try to do my research on you yesterday. Mm-hmm. So I went to your Wikipedia. I'll there's, open it there's now. There's nothing which is uh, hiding about me. How I started my career. My career is just straightforward, and it's it's, it's, it's been 42. For Wikipedia, six, six, has him at six years younger than this. I will tell you exactly what Wikipedia says, <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> One of his children is Chinese, by the way. No way, I, really? Yeah. So here yeah, he's it black says, and knees. It says you're 39. That you were born on the 31st of August, 1982. Yes. So this why does it say you're 39? They're, they're just lying there because this is 2022. 2022, man. Yeah. Wait, no, no, there's something wrong here. You said you're turning 42. If you're born in 1982, you're turning 40. I'm turning 40 in, in August. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to confuse me. No, 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 guys. I'm not two plus my math. two is four. Sorry, let me ask someone that is distinction two. in math. If you're born in 1982, how old are you this year? If you're born in 1982. It's 40. It's 40. 40 but you August. Said, yeah. Yeah. No, you said you're turning 42. Yes. Huh? How are you turning 42? You're born in 1982. <laughs> it's me. It's my bad. <laughs> Should we now question everything else you said in this interview? <laughs> no, no, no. It's my bad. <laughs> it's 40 in August. Right. Yeah. Chris, no problem. how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> <We> start again. <laughs> I'm Ladies 40. and gentlemen, now, you need to thank me for, for asking you the second time. <laughs> now go ahead. What you want to say? Now just I was I was the math. I was repeating the mistake. <laughs> yeah, I admit it. It's 40 in August. It's 40. Yes. We need to start this whole how, interview. How, how have we stuck at 42 the whole time? I think we need to start this interview again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to that Z podcast. This episode is brought to you by Zamtel. We are not going. And back. we are with Christopher Katongo right now. <laughs> Mr. Christopher Katongo, how old are you? <laughs> I'm turning 40. There you go. <laughs> but at least, at least he, he did the opposite of what other soccer players do. He right. increased his years. Yes. Others. He's better, yeah, he's better that way. <laughs> but, but, but look, I, I'll give it. You, you don't look 40 or 42. You don't look any of those yeah, ages. You look very young. I'm looking 36. You look very young. Yeah. What, what, what do you want from him? Said, what do you mean? I know flattery will get you anywhere, but no, what, what do you want man. from him? He's, he's a legend. What are you talking? I don't need to have anything from him. I'm just wondering why he's, he's, he's a legend. This is my man. 
Okay. Yeah. Chris. Okay. We, we go back. All right. We've we've skipped question. We've, we're, we're back to question one. Up. We're no, back to no where we're supposed to be. That one is there because you can't. I can't hide. But <laughs> maybe there was some miscalculation <laughs> on me. But I'm I'm 14 August. Ah, uh, thanks for the clarity, man. No problem. Um, in 2012, there was a big headline. So is it 2012? But two years later. Okay. Yeah, there was a headline. 2012 Africa Cup winning captain. Let me just read what the headline was. Okay. 2012 Africa Cup winning captain Christopher Katongo has been axed from the national uh, Zambia national team. And coach Ona Janza released a long-serving captain on Monday in Indola just 24 hours after Zambia returned from near May. Near May is what? Niger. And uh, where you drew nil, nil. This was a nil-nil draw with uh, Niger in a 2015 Africa Cup qualifier. You were dropped from the team. What, what really happened? That wasn't in the papers. I think um, there was a misunderstanding between my coach yeah. and myself. Um, <clears throat> because um, I, there was like, I started on the bench, I go in, I play well. I think there was some things which some other guys, whatever, maybe the coach, maybe he listened. I didn't know because I asked what the reason they didn't tell me. Yeah. Until there was uh, some certain things, say, oh, no, there was this, that, this, whatever. I don't think there was some things that it was there. Uh, I think we had the, the grudge to each other. Uh, and that one who wrote those ones, he apologized for me. Mm -hmm. He's still my friend. <laughs> now I'm talking. Even the coach, Janza, is still my friend. He apologized that uh, I could have not done that. Uh, I don't need to mention his name. But he just came to apologize. We don't need to start... Uh, you know, telling everybody, okay, you apologize, whatever, but I'm just saying that the one who writes is apologizing because uh, he caused some certain things which happens, like I said, on the, on the house issue. We needed the house from the government and then mm. he published my, our house. So the conflict started a long time ago for the people who doesn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, he published my house, Felix's house, Isaac's house, James Samanga's house. So there was conflict on that one. And then he wanted to create something that maybe me, I can be, maybe ask it, whatever he wrote, which was not true. Because only one newspaper wrote that thing. Yeah. So on that day, there was just misunderstand. Even Ijanza, we, we spoke. We, he's still my coach. Yeah. We also, we talked, we apologize, we move forward. We don't just need to say, ah, let the crowd knows whatever, no. He's still my coach. Whatever who made a mistake, he has made. We need to move forward. We are still together. So if, if that one was the, was the, for sure, for that one, it's more or less like of the down for maybe for the national team, but still Janza took the Africa Cup. Uh, Africa, uh, uh, he went to qualify to the Africa Cup despite I was not there. Yeah. Because there was still some other senior players. So he qualified in 2015, the last time that Zambia was there. But then you guys did terribly. After all that glory winning the Africa Cup, the next Africa Cup, yeah, just what, underdogs again. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Yeah. It's, it's, of, it's of the, uh, the, the fans. Uh, I remember the last game, the third, the last game, I was put on a bench from every now. Yeah. And even if I was on the bench on that one, they took me again to the doping test in 2010. <laughs> 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 uh, and and um, there was some, you know, the fans out the Zambia. Me, I know Zambians out they, they talk. So there was some talks <coughs> which distracted every now, you know, yeah. maybe to to focus and, and put the teams also in order. And there's some certain things that I, I didn't need to to speak out, especially that there's so many prophets started telling, telling us whatever, you know. There was some distractors. So after that tournament, uh, there was the rumors that I, I would retire and what, you know, like the rumors that you get. Uh, then the Hevlen I called me and we spoke on the phone. Uh, yeah. And he said, listen, I still need you. You want to retire? What I said, I didn't say, I didn't say anything that I'm going to retire. I've heard what, what, what. No, you are still my captain. We spoke. And then we were playing Ghana. Live Manawasa Stadium. Yeah. I score the one go. Nice. Again, those ones that they were. I see why he's they, a hero. See they this? come again and say, hey, hey chikari, chikari. So I, I know how, you know, Zambians we are. When bad things is happening, they need somewhere, somewhere to point fingers. <laughs> Someone so, to blame. No, this one, when. It, <coughs> I can even tell you that there was rumors. Oh, he, when he score alone, Tavengisha, Bambi. There was rumors <laughs> like that. 
but I don't know where I scored alone because we are Mariuka scored I scored so yeah Collins will score I'll score so I don't know where it's coming from but um, but how much how much witchcraft is there really in soccer in Zambia we hear there's a, there's a lot going on it's not much it is still there so it is there it is there it's somewhere somewhere people they practice it who but do you who do you know that has done witchcraft so far? I, I, I don't know. How, how would I start telling the the people that this one do? It's just it's just us three. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. But do, do these it's things really just work? That is there. And I've, is this person still playing? I don't know. Because Are they I retired? Never, well, was he on the national team with you? This same person you're referring to? No, in national team. I never seen anything. In clubs, then. If you go to the West Africa, they believe in it. Still talking about Zambia, though. Zambia, this is a Christian nation. It is there, but the but witchcraft hide. is is there, is there, yes. Yeah. But they are hiding somewhere, somewhere. But do, do somewhere. these things actually work for them? Like, do they actually get promoted to bigger know. teams, bigger leagues? For me, it doesn't yeah. work. It's only two, three percent. Have you, so, so you've tried it? Yes, I've counted it. No, have you tried it to know that it doesn't no, work? For me, I never tattooed whatever. I don't put know things how in socks it. during a match. But but I went to South Africa. It was normal for them. Damn, really? Oh, when you're playing in South Africa. So they put all these things in socks, go for I, tattoos. I don't know, and whatever, but you just find it. It's, it's, it's there. Like, what, experience, their what, what experience did you have? Like, it's what did you culture. see? culture, you know. In yeah. South Africa, it's part of their culture. Yeah, I know they baptize. Starting from the Zurus and what, what, what. It's their culture. I know they baptize <laughs> cars. When you buy a new car, you have to baptize it with goat blood and all that. You've seen that before, yeah? Yeah. 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 So, but it's there. You said... Uh, Christopher Katongo is your hero. How much would you pay for a Christopher Katongo jersey? Like the one he wore at the AFCON 2012. Um, hmm. I don't know, like a hundred kwacha? Never. Dude, it's w- Never. Oh, on its own, it's worth more than that. And then he wore it. Um, imagine the sentimental value it has now. I don't know. So let me So kwacha. let me tell you this. I'm very, I'm, I'm struggling. This is why I'm still single. <laughs> because Pastor Jimmy K said, if you're still broke, you shouldn't get married. No, because you are struggling because you want to see more of this world. No, not really. I'm, 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 I'm broke and I've come to terms with it. It's not about being broke. So, now, so, so, how much do you think uh, your your asking price would be? Uh, not yet to give it a, 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 a price tag. But I think my jersey will weigh more than hundred thousand. Damn. He's auctioning his jersey uh, at, at the book launch. So you feel the starting price. Is that the starting price or what's the starting price? I think I won't even come with it, but I wanted to auction it, but I won't come with it. But you've already announced you're auctioning the jersey that you wore. Yeah, it's okay, but I won't come with it. But, but you've changed your mind. It's not, it's not an auction I've anymore. Cha- I've changed my mind. I need to wait another 10 years, I think. It gains more be, value. Yeah, it's going to be to one point. But that generation would have died <laughs> off, though. Yeah. Don't you think those who can relate to the AFCON 2012 would have died off by then if you're waiting too long? No, those who can relate. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the same like, people who were climbing on top of the club. Yeah. You should have auctioned it then, my man. <laughs> not, not yeah, I know, right? Not, it's not value on that day. If, we, if I could have auctioned that day, it, will, it won't have the value. Because who's, who's, who's do you think will fetch more? Um, that one or what's the other guy at, at, at uh, Lancaster City? Who's at Lancaster City? Who's at Lancaster City? Which one? The, the young guy. Um, Leicester. Leicester City. Yeah, Leicester City. Uh, Dhaka. Dhaka. Patson Dhaka. Yeah. The jazz for Dhaka. Yeah. Uh, but that one has, has not won an Afcon before. So. I, I don't think it can be worth of my jazz. It can bring the jazz for Leicester, but it can't worth of my jazz. Yeah. It can't worth of any 2012 player the jazz that he can bring it. Yeah. It can't. Yeah. All my players, <laughs> if they have that jazz, they want to work on it. Yeah. Dhaka bring it, it won't worth it. So you feel jersey will fetch. It's still young. It's Don't, still young. It's still young. Let Daka continue working. It's still young. Kwapa <laughs> tachila kubeya. Still working. Leave the boy. Okay. If you start comparing the boy to us, no, 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 I'm, I'm not. Be wrong. No, no, I'm not. I'm just saying, if like, you compare me to Kalwisha. No, no, of course not. No, no, I, I didn't. What are you can't. I do want, levels, I yeah. want to compare These you to. What I just meant is, you know, with with the age of social media, people would talk more, spread more about his work than back then because social media was not so big. I told you that Zambians they like whispering. Yeah, they don't have even the truth they want to talk, uh, but. This is who we are. This is Zambia. So what can we do? Did you have any any 
pre-match rituals that you would do. By rituals, I don't mean like African yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Don't yeah. worry. Just yeah. ask me. Yeah, yeah. People don't change boxers the whole season. There are people who yeah, have got lucky example, socks. For example, I was using the same shoes, white shoes. There you go. Or oh, use the same boots the whole person has got like the rituals. Yeah. Maybe to go for the game, we need to listen to the music. There you go. Yeah. What was yours? Maybe, maybe starting wearing the boots, you start wearing to the left. Yeah. Yeah. Those things. <laughs> there you go. Um, what was yours? What, what's uh, yours? Maybe yeah. before the game, we go to use the toilet. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe before the game, we want to drink Red Bull. What's yours? No, mine is just to have the playing shoes on, on the extra game and the training shoes on the other hand. So I'll have the playing to, shoes on the actual on, on the what? <laughs> you okay. Have, yeah. When I'm training, yeah, I'm using the other boots. Right. Training. Yeah. The other one, which is gonna play, use it in the game. All oh, right. I wash it. I don't touch it. Okay. Until the actual game, uh, I'll yeah. use that boot. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then you see some other guys coming in with a warm up with the other other shoes. He change. He put the other one. So the rituals are are, are, are there. always there, right? Always there, yeah. yeah. Okay. We don't have Z trivia today. We've uh, given our show a bit of a twist today. We're getting questions from our viewers on Facebook. We're not live. We just ask people to you know toss questions to uh, Christopher Katongo. And one of the first comments that came through uh, is from David Mulwanda Simfukwe. And uh, ah, David, I know David from Kitwe. And he says, "Why did they keep quiet all along about the winning bonuses? Ten years. We were waiting for them to to do something. Okay. Why you want to? Force but you wait ten years. That's what we're saying. You guys are very patient. Yeah. Uh, and I think, you know, things happens for the purpose. I think bringing the book and the the 2012 players, you know, being in a group, it happens for the purpose. Yeah." You know, maybe it's it's the time it was waking us up. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe we were sleeping a little bit. Now we wake up because we are growing up. But ten years, yeah, we we didn't want to wait like you know long. But maybe Senegalese have opened up our mind. Look at what they've done for Senegal. This is what I've always tell you. If you if you if you come from the airport, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, you say Zambia. Is a footballing nation. Which picture you will find there? Go in the city. Which picture you find? You find only those died. They say, go through you, Kachitaru Street, Chibangu Street. Those they have died. There is no history of us. Go to football house. There is no picture for for twenty two. And you're the no only history. ones who've ever won it. Yes, there is no history of us. This is true. Go go there to the to, to the to the football house. There is no history. Go to the airport. There is no no history for football. It needs to be be told somebody a foreigner comes in if he goes in the city there is some certain picture say yes Zambia is a footballing nation but there is nothing so why it takes 10 years it is a purpose Senegal look what they have offered them mm. what do they offer us it's only the winning bonus uh, did I answer he's listening maybe um, he wants to ask another one I don't know. where as a nation have we gone wrong in terms of football management and finding a winning formula it's, again th- this is easy yeah it's not only me I've been speaking all the, the legends they've been speaking there was no transition as I said fans they want one player who has just played six months in the premiership league you want him to play for the national team no you wait for him to have a consistency like me, they waited for three years to start playing in the national team. I was scoring. I was top scorer for Green Buffaloes. I was top scorer for CAF Confederation during George Rwanda, I mean, I think. But mm. I was not playing for the national team. So they didn't rush. If you look what Kaluisha did, he put everybody together. And there was transition of each player. But look what happens. So football went down starting after 2015. Whoever was in charge here, he was putting football down because he was listening to the fans and he was doing his own things, not considering the the the, 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 the senior players. Look at now, uh, Lenford Kalaba is still playing, uh, Sinkala is still playing, uh, Sunzu is still playing, um, Kennedy is still playing. Why you leave them? Look at Cameroon, Abu Bakar, he played with them, he's still playing. Yeah. You know, just to mention a few, in Tunisia, there's five players. Who they win in Africa Cup, I think 2017, I remember. 2017. Oh, Algeria. In, 20, in 2017, they win uh, Africa Cup. Mm-hmm. There's still five, six players that are still playing. 
why us you want every time to build the team every time you want to build the team and that that now you are on zero right uh andrew klein mwanza says uh would you be interested in running for the first top job yes what do you want me to say yes, yes. why i want to find out why why yeah why not i guess why? No, i think why not eh? yeah look look look, but then look, again. At, look at footballers no, the why is what weaknesses have you seen that you would fix? That's the why. We're no, we, why. We, we don't need to start talking about the weakness. There's somebody who's still in charge. Mm. So there's, there is no harm to say, I can do a better I, job I can, than him. I can do the better job than him. There, it's no harm to say I can be the president. There's no harm to say, I want to be a teacher. There's always a teacher there, but I want to be a teacher. That's how it is. So we wait for the time. His time is there. Let him do the job. But one day, I want to be. I'm sure you can be. I'm sure you can be. Pride Kamba says, uh, what did you mean when you said, when I'm there, I'm there. But when I'm there, I think I'm there. So I can be there. I see, I see the future. Okay. I, I, I think I've never gone to the university. English is not my mother. You language. and him. You've got that in common. <laughs> Apart from being married, I'm, I'm you proud. know nothing about university. I'm, yes, I'm proud of myself. I never go to the university. You try to love my 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 language, my English. It's fine. That's your your thing. But when I'm saying, you are just seeing me here, but I'm already ahead of you. I'm I'm already touching the things which you are not seeing. That's what I mean. So. When I was saying I'm winning the Africa Cup, you've yeah. never seen that, that I'm, I'm there when uh, I'm already there <laughs> lifting the Africa Cup. You never know. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. All if right, cool. Is, if English, is not, English is not a sign of intelligence anyway. No. It's just a language. Should. Yeah, but we love so, ourselves. And yeah. that's so sad. <laughs> so many people, if you go to Europe, I spent time in Belgium for the longest time. If you speak English to them, they'll look at you like you're crazy. Yes. Like, don't speak English to us. That's, that's speak what? Dutch English. Oh, for, yeah. <laughs> Go to England if you want to yeah. speak that. That's the Zambian. So, you know, it's sad where us people. as... Or Chinese people, yeah. yeah. They go to the radio, they speak their Chinese. In fact, I, as you in, go to, in the, most, to the TV... In most schools, they now... Oh, they didn't go to school then. Me, I didn't go to school. Yes, so <laughs> what? It's official. I didn't ever go to the university. So <laughs> what? Speaking of school, in 2016, you started training as a coach. How, how's that going? Yes, I've got a CAFC license. I'm still a coach. Uh, I think I'm looking forward to to have the club. Not, uh, not the national team? Yes, I have a dream to coach the national team. That is my priority. Is to test my capability. As a coach? If, yes. If you captained us to victory, so I can only imagine what you can do with a, a, co- a coaching yes. job. If you see the Senegalese, it's yeah. a local. Eight years with a team. He won Africa Cup. We, we, we need to... We need to... We need to... We need to... You, you, you know, you, you know, when you are just typing computer, that, that's how we move on. Otherwise, say, okay, I don't know to say, no. Yeah. So, that's how it's going to be. Chris, in conclusion, we're just given an opportunity to sell your book. Why should Zambians buy your book? It's a, what's a book about and uh, what should we look forward to in that book? What was happening? It's a story behind the 12th of, sorry. Uh-huh. Um, it's a story, the things that I was encounter with as a captain. Yes, there is some things for my friends, my, my prayers, my fellow players. We achieve together. There is some certain things which is there, but mostly it's my, my personal. Um, and I wanted, to, you know, to have this book of also to leave the Ligas mostly on the book because Zambia they forget quickly uh, and uh, and that's why um, I'm planning maybe to have my my ground uh, my academy which is gonna be my ground to name it Christopher Katongo I think to to wait for the people to honor you you die <laughs> without honoring you so Senegal has, has opening up like we we have asked some yeah. questions what happens why it takes so long whatever if money still they they honor him you know to name his stadium look what Kalush has done for this country i don't know where they name look johnstone there's gibbing basela babo maritori there's a lot of regents 
Yeah. What have you named them? Have you just let them be? So Forgotten. I know that also they will forget us. That's why I started and I went to the minister. I proposed to the minister and I give them the proposal, what I wanted to do. So what I want is just a piece of land. I'll start doing myself just to name. Even if I want just to leave it. That's what I want. Because uh, waiting for Zambians, uh, I think we'll just keep on quarreling waiting and forever, answering yeah. what, what, what left and right. So that's my, my intention. Nice one. Chris, thanks a lot for coming through. And uh, look forward to reading that book. I really look forward to reading that book. Are you getting a copy as well? Yes, I am. Absolutely. Sweet. So, yeah, if we can just get two advanced copies. Are we, are we getting copies, though? Uh, I'm, I'm going to start from the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> we won't start yet. Because we could go my pilots when I give the... Uh, we might, we might <laughs> right, photocopy. Right. Chris, thanks a lot for coming. We really appreciate this. Thank and uh, wishing you all the best with the book and your coaching, your new coaching career. Thank you very much. For and me. all that. Remember, follow us on Instagram. It's That's It Podcast. And then on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button. And Facebook, That's It Podcast. Where else are we? Uh, TikTok. On TikTok, numbers growing so fast on TikTok, it's yeah, impressive, man. Yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, we need a Z Z podcast. Z podcast. Zambian conversations worth having. We talk to Zambian movers and shakers, the change makers, the achievers. We also discuss interesting topics. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, That Z Podcast. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Listen to That Z Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Anchor. That Z Podcast. Zambian conversations. Worth having. Hosted by K+. K- K+. It's K+, K+ baby! <laughs> <laughs>